morning everybody good morning friends welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to have you all here for another vlog i'm going to be bringing you guys through a day in my life and i am so excited because today's video is actually sponsored by nike yes nike how crazy is that? I'm gonna be showing you guys some items from them. And of course they will all be linked down below for you guys to shop if you wanna check them out. I'm also gonna be putting one of the outfits to the test. I'm wearing it on my run. So I cannot wait and I'm gonna bring you guys along. But I'm gonna start off by just showing you guys the items. I will try everything on for you all with a little try and clip so you can see what it looks like on. And again, the items will be linked down below. So let's get into it. So I have four items here and then a one pair of shoes. All the items are in black, which I love. And I love that Nike is a very like brand that I can wear for so many different things, whether that's running errands, running, hit workouts, going for a long walk with Millie, etc., etc. I live in activewear and I love Nike stuff because you just know the quality is chef's kiss all the time. The fabrics are amazing. I just absolutely love it. First up, we have this stunning sports bra. I love this one because it's got like almost like built-in cupping, but not like removable cupping. It's just like built-in to the material and it's just beautiful. This is the Nike Elate bra. It's made of their dry fit material, which is super sweat wicking. So you'll never get that like sweaty, wet feeling in your clothes. You get to stay nice and dry. As I said, it's got like the built-in cupping. The back is super pretty. It has all of these like detailing. This one would be great for so many things. It is a light support bra, so you could definitely wear this for a lot. I mean, I don't have big boobs, so I can wear light support bras for every single movement, even running, but stuff like this is made for more light impact movement, whether that's doing yoga, Pilates, a long walk, etc., etc. Weight training. These, this would be a great piece, and I just think that it's so beautiful and classic. Next, we have the Nike One League Protection Shorts. These are amazing for that time of the month. They have a built-in liner inside of them that is basically indetectable. You can't see that you're wearing it or anything, but it'll protect any of those leaks during that time of the month through your squats, through your run, et cetera, et cetera, while still giving you that seamless fit. These are also squat proof, so you don't have to worry about any sort of sheerness. They are a nice opaque material. They're made of the dry fit material as well. So it'll be sweat wicking. You'll stay super dry in your workouts. And you also just have that peace of mind that you are protected. They do have built in secret pockets as well for storing things. And they're just a stunning short. So I will be trying these on as well so you guys can see them. But these are absolutely great for protecting yourself during that time of the month. Just that little extra peace of mind while exercising that you're good and it's indetectable. You can't even tell the liners in there. You can't feel it, you can't see it. Love that. So these are so, so cute. And then another sports bra, I had to get just a classic Nike sports bra. Beautiful, classic. It's a Nike swoosh sports bra. So this one is a medium support bra. So you do get a little bit more support and um, through those kind of more hard exercises like going on a run, etc. It's just like the normal racer back back and it's got the great Nike logo on it, which we all love to see. Beautiful. And again, it's made of the driving material. So you'll get that sweat wicking that you get from all of Nike's items. And yeah, it'll just evaporate that sweat right off of you so you don't feel it. Last up, we have another pair of shorts. These are the Nike Go shorts. These ones are made of a really nice compression material. So you're gonna be getting a lot of support out of these. They have so many pockets, zipper pocket, like you've got a lot of pockets on these. And these are gonna hold you in through high impact kind of stuff. You are supported. Again, it's made from the dry fit material. So you'll be sweat wicking, but you've got some really good support, spandexy kind of thing going on here. You're, you're held in, you're supported through your exercises. And I love these. Nice little Nike swoosh right here. Just to go with the theme of everything being in black, I have to pick up a pair of Nike free Metcon fives. I love these shoes. As you guys know, they're one of my go-to training shoes. You can literally wear them for so many different workouts, whether that's like HIIT training, weight training, like they are a work, uh, shoe that can get you through it all which is why I think they're great for HIIT classes or any sort of like class where you're gonna be doing weight training in some sort of cardio. Such a great shoe. I already knew that I loved these. I am a size six and a half in them, but I picked them up in the black. 
how friggin sweet are these i love them they are such a great shoe the support is amazing the spring in your step when you wear them they're great for doing like lunges and squats you feel really supported and like you have like a firm base for weight training exercises but you also have that like cushioning and spring for if you're doing like burpees or jumping things like that these are just so amazing i got them in a six and a half as i said and they're just one of my all-time favorite favorite training shoes i love these so much so thank you to nike for sending over all these items you guys know that nike is like one of my favorite brands i love their stuff so much and i will have everything again linked down below for you guys if you're looking to add some activewear into your life whether that's for just day to day and you just like wearing activewear on the day activewear for your walk activewear for your yoga classes your pilates classes your hit workouts your strength training your running nike has products for you so i will have all the items linked down below i'm gonna get changed now because i'm gonna be going on my run and yeah let's go all right guys i'm gonna go on my run now i'll see you guys when i get back i think i might also do just like a little bit of strength training in the gym today lift like a little bit of weights possibly i feel like i haven't done that in a while so i might just go and lift a little bit but this is the outfit that i picked for my run so the medium support sports bra and then of course the high support like leggings these are so nice such good running shorts of course the dry fit material i love all the pockets that they have so cute but yeah let's go a really 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 good run so I did two 20 minute intervals with a three minute walk in between I'll put my little running stats up here so you guys can see but it was so good the compression shorts and bra worked so well for this run it felt so secure and sweat wicking I absolutely loved it I'm about to go take a shower now and get ready for the day I am gonna do a quick little clean. I showed you guys me doing my dishes kind of stuff, but My apartment's just looking a little bit messy for my taste. So we're gonna do a quick Little spruce up, you know a little mini clean. I'm also gonna make some pasta for lunch. I feel like spaghetti I'm starving, you know anytime I do like a run day the hunger is unreal, so I'm gonna do a quick clean because Millie's toys and everything is everywhere and then eat my pasta and then i want to show you guys and also try out using my new curling iron after i went to an event a couple weeks ago i ordered a little curling iron one with a clamp to do my hair kind of like they do at hairdressers they taught me how to do it um there so we're gonna see if i remember how to do it hopefully i remember <laughs> and it'll turn out okay we are uh we're hoping and praying for a positive outcome with that but i'm literally like cleaning as i go here I'm talking to y'all and cleaning at the same time. This is the epitome of multitasking. I also ordered two new books. Um, I ordered Journey to the Heart, and which is like a daily meditation kind of thing. And then I also ordered This Is How You Heal by Brianne West, I believe her name is. She's the woman who wrote 101 Essays That'll Change Your Life, which I absolutely loved. And I read The Mountain Is You, which I also loved. So now I'm gonna read This Is How You Heal. I'm very excited. And yeah, oh, other news. I got these really cool drinks in um, the mail. It's by, the brand is Cali Water. And it's basically cactus water, super hydration, antioxidants, and skin benefits. So they have the watermelon flavor, <coughs> They have the wild prickly pear flavor and then the ginger and lime flavor. I've tried the ginger and lime. It literally tastes like a ginger ale. So if you like ginger ale, you will love this. It's got how many grams of sugar in it? Four grams of sugar. Um, obviously, basically, it's got two, <laughs> five grams of carbs, one from fiber and four from sugar. 
So basically it's got water, organic blue agave, which I'm sure they sweeten it with, lemon juice, raspberry juice, um, natural flavors, prickly pear, cactus powder, and monk fruit extract is what's in this little beauty. But yeah, thank you for sending those over. It also says it advertises it's great as a mixer. I could see that. I could see it being a great mixer for sure. Anyways, any hoot. Oh, I guess I'll show you my new curling iron I'm gonna be using. This is it. I'm very excited. It's by Bio Ionic. My hair is everywhere. I bought this off of Chatters online and it heats up to 430, but you have like a bunch of different heat settings that you can choose from. And of course, it's got the clamp and it's a long barrel, which is great if you have super long hair, which I do. And yeah, I'm really excited. You can kind of make like beach waves, you know, with this kind of curling iron, like you get like the, the beachy wavy look, which, you know, I'm here for. And I have two events tomorrow, so I'm here to uh, spruce up the hair. We're trying to get a fresh look, a fresh look. So it should look good. But I'll tune in with you guys when I start doing my hair. And it's officially time to test out the curler. I put it at 320. I didn't want to do it too high. And now I gotta try and remember how to do this, which may be a struggle. We're gonna start with one piece, probably like an inch. And I remember I clamped it pretty like high up and smoothed it down and kind of wrapped it around. And then as I loosened it, I would like twist it like that. So you kind of like tuck it under, the tuck under motion. Tuck under and then out. And so it looks like this. And then when you brush those out, they become like little waves. So I kind of got it, I feel like. That wasn't like perfect, but practice makes perfect out here. Don't 100% know what we're doing yet, so. Oh no, see that one got tangled. That's, it's all right, it's all right. We're just working with what we got here. It's a nice spiral curl. It still doesn't look like 100% like hers looked like. The hairdresser taught me how to do this. So I feel like I am doing something wrong. I just don't know exactly what, what I'm doing wrong. So that's half the, uh, the struggle here. It's just not having, a, not having a bloody clue. Anyway, I'm trying to keep the ends out so the ends can be like a little bit straighter than the top portion. That's my goal. You guys can like see what I'm doing. I hope, I hope, I hope. I used to see hairdressers do this at the hair salon with a little twist under and I was like, how the hell do you do that? But then when you learn, you're like, oh, you know what? It's not that complicated. It's easier than I thought. hoping these curls will look good tomorrow because obviously I'm curling my hair now but I don't have any events until tomorrow <laughs> but I kind of like it when it's like that looser wave like the next day kind of hair so that's what that's what I'm hoping for is we'll have a uh, next day hair tomorrow and it'll be looking nice and and beautiful tuck under and twist and tuck under twist and pull through Oops, I keep accidentally pressing buttons. Oh my god, I'm just turning the temperature up. Great. I think I did 320. Okay. I'm almost done this section. I'm gonna do my hair in three sections since this is like a legit curl. I wanna make sure that I'm getting every piece. So, three sections for my huge head of hair, but if you have less hair, then that won't be necessary. And those are the curls. I'm not gonna brush them out. I'm gonna do this side first so that this can like set a bit because I don't want it to completely fall out. So we're gonna just leave her and move on to this side. 
So I'm just gonna grab this piece. I find obviously one side is easier to do than the other. You're just like naturally better at doing it on one side. So this is my bad side. So if it looks worse, well, that'll be why. You know what, that wasn't half bad. Could have been worse. Could have been way worse. I still have like more cleaning to do. I got distracted eating my food and I did not do all my uh, my cleaning plans. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to do more tonight because it's still kind of looking like a disaster. Definitely did not get everything done that I wanted to, but. Say la vie. Okay, I feel like this is going really well. I mean, when I brush it out, that's when we'll see the real effect, but so far, I'm very pleased with uh, my work here. If you guys need uh, a new hairdresser part-time, you can link me up, because apparently I know what I'm doing. This technique is really similar to actually what I do with the Dyson Airwrap with like the blowout brush. If I'm doing like an at-home blowout, I'll do a really, really similar technique to this. So I feel like that's kind of why I find it not easy, but doable. It's because I've done something similar to this before. Got all of it. We're looking cute. We got the like ringlet curls going on, but they will be waves. I'm just going to section off another layer of my hair. I'm just using these cute clips from Framer, Framar. I really like them for just sectioning my hair. I feel like they don't leave like weird indents or anything in your hair. Like they're really good. Okay, we are ready. We're gonna start on the opposite side. Get these little fuzzy pieces sorted out because we're looking real fuzzy over here. Okay, I'm gonna curl the rest of my head and then I'll update you guys when we brush it out. Okay, hair is all curled. Now we're going to brush it out. I'm just using a paddle brush to comb out these waves. And hopefully this will actually last a good amount of time since I did use a literal curling iron. So hopefully, be really nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some hair oil in it, but it looks really good. I love it. I feel like I'm like just left the salon. This is giving me like salon waves, you know? Here are the waves. The front pieces I feel like could be a little bit less high. Next time I'll probably curl it a little bit lower, but it is pretty. And I like that the ends are really straight. It's just like a really pretty wave in your hair. Love it. I did such a good job. <laughs> I hope that taught you guys something. <laughs> I am in bed now. Hair still looking good. These curls though. <laughs> I love it. Like catch me with my hair like this all summer because I'm just going to be a styled hair gal. But anyways, I'm about to read my book. I took my vitamins. Did I take my melatonin? I can't remember if I took it or not, but I'm not gonna take another one in case I took it because now I can't remember if I did. My brain is like a potato. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to go and shop the Nike items down below. I will have them linked and yeah. I hope you guys try out this hair tutorial and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!